Well, I mean, it was, a, can I say, it was a slightly bizarre and strange press release. Um, you know, we're at a time when uh, the government's been negotiating on the important issue of Brexit. We still haven't seen in writing any kind of draft treaty which is going to be seminal, it's going to mark our relationship with the European Union going forward. We're at a time when it's emerged that the government cannot even keep to its deficit and it's overspent by 40 million in the year of the worst deficit ever. And here we are having a, a strange kind of discussion with the government uh, saying, exculpating itself, saying that it doesn't have relationships with Putin and its cronies. Well, we never said they did. Um, we're really glad that the chief minister has said he doesn't have relations with, with Putin and his regime, nor do we. Now, can we move on to talk about the issues that really matter to people? So is the GSD accepting the chief minister's challenge that its MPs clarify their relationships or lack thereof with the Russian regime? Well, I've just said, we don't have any relationships with people who are on the sanctions list or, or anyone who's close to Putin's regime. We're having a false debate. Let's talk about the real issues. Look, there's 145 million Russians. There's 197 Russians who happen to be on the sanctions list. There's actually 8 million Russians at the time, more or less, that actually live in Ukraine. They're also being affected by this conflict, this unjustifiable invasion of Ukraine by, by Russia. So we agree there should be peace in Ukraine. We also think that there are people who are suffering on, on both sides. There are obviously Russians who are also against this conflict. I don't think you can generalize, nor can there be this kind of very strange and false debate here in Gibraltar about these issues. I think it's important for us to do what we can in as part of the international community as we are doing in in uh, in relation to sanctions and making sure that those things are in place but uh, in terms of local politics let's focus on the on the issues that affect people on the ground here in Gibraltar and does the GST believe the sanctions and measures put in place by Gibraltar go far enough are they sufficient I mean, this is driven by the international community. Let's be clear. It's not driven by Gibraltar, and Gibraltar must play its part. And, and of course, we all see the, the harrowing suffering that people uh, are, are being subjected to in Ukraine. And, and we all feel for the people of Ukraine. You know, we supported that, uh, that walk for peace yesterday. Opposition members did do that because we stand with, with the people of Ukraine in that unjustifiable aggression. But it's also important to, to understand that this is not about all Russians. You know, as I said before, there's 145 million Russians. There's lots of Russians who are affected by this and lots of Russians against this as well. So it's important to understand that in the round. And, uh, and that's our view. And, and you know, and I think that this, this kind of pointing of fingers or and asking the opposition to clarify, well, we never said the chief minister had relationships with Putin's regime. Um, we certainly don't. We don't have relationships with sanctioned individuals and we're very well aware of our legal and professional obligations.